Tough Mudder's creditors are trying to push the organizer of extreme obstacle races into bankruptcy. They say that they are owed $855,000. They have not been paid. What do we know? There's a long list of people that are owed money from Tough Mudder. Yeah. So uh, some of these creditors that are asking for money are building servicers, general contractors, former executives. Uh, uh, one of the founders says he's owed about $3 million. And so can you imagine a company that has 5 million customers, started in 2010, explosive growth. And what happened was they had partnered with a company that pre-bought a bunch of tickets, about $18 million worth, I believe, and they owed them that money back for those tickets as well. The reason why this stuck out to me was because there are a lot of people who uh, engage in Tough Mudder competitions. And are probably wondering whether they're going to be able to continue to do so or whether this is the end. And also, how did they owe so much money to so many people, given the <laughs> fact that it's a race organizer with a lot of well-heeled people who are participating? Sometimes you could be really good at one thing and not that great at managing money. And by the way, I don't get this Tough mutter thing. But, but, but. You're Schnelli Bosick editorializing, so I'm <laughs> going too much. Carry on. But what I, but something interesting is, uh, you know, I know nothing about it to know about Spartan Race, another very popular race. Uh, Spartan Race has been considering buying some of these assets, has the option to buy some of these assets assets and it's tough to buy these assets when there's a potential bankruptcy proceeding underway so what assets will be there in the next year but uh, Tough Mudder has competitors so 